Congress did not um, get the moratorium extended on Friday. Uh, the president and the CDC have not pinned, um, did not make that happen. And so now this is where we are. We are adding to the housing crisis with a mass, with mass evictions. My message is let's get it done. This We got to um, realize the urgency of this moment. People, we do not need to be forcing people out of their homes, number one, because that is su human suffering and we shouldn't, we shouldn't participate in that. But also in the midst of a global daily pandemic, how do we put force people out of their homes and put them in situations um, where we know that um, that can be deadly? We're talking about our elders, we're talking about children, we're talking about um, people who may be immunocompromised. This is not what our this is not who our country should be. And the, the leaders in this country, those the lawmakers in this country, we have to act. Um, so we have asked for the White House and the CDC to work together, and we need an eviction moratorium. We've asked for House leadership to reconvene the House. Bring us back. Bring us back. We need to know that we have the, two eight, the 218 votes. Let's get this done. And the thing is, these things can happen simultaneously. We need the bill. We need an actual bill, the bill that is on the table. Um, that uh, Chairwoman Maxine Waters has introduced that would be uh, an eviction moratorium through December 31st. We need to at least start there. I want to see that strengthened. I want to see the, I want to see a moratorium through the end of the pandemic, but we at least need to start with the bill that we have.